Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop with Eclipse Code Recommenders. This is Wednesday speaking and we're going to continue where I left, out, uh, left off in the last episode with uh, my small Eclipse plugin with a small dialog that is supposed to uh, grab my name information to publish a little greeting afterwards. Uh, as you can see I did not change anything, I start here right where I left off and we're going to continue together. So let me first shut down this, whoops, something broke here, whatever. I just shut down in the middle of a dialogue, so that might be the reason. Um, let's continue where I left off. So the first thing I remember is that my text box did not actually span. So since the grab, uh, how is it called? The grab access horizontal space is set to true, my guess is that actually this information here is wrong so maybe there's something like fill fill horizontal yeah sounds good so I want this grid to fill horizontal maybe it's working now um, let's try it out uh, in the meantime wh what else uh, do I want to do I want to have a second thing like this label and uh, text box for uh, my last name of course and then I want to store no it does not stretch yet um, I want to store the uh, the information I set here um, another thing by the way uh, it was that there is no border and I guess it has to do with a style here because there's a style border so maybe now we have uh, the dialogue we want to have, or the style we want to have, the text box with a with a border around, so that I can actually see uh, what's what's happening. That is a text input box, and hopefully, ah, yeah, no, it also stretches. So this time, I guess we have some kind of a border around here that wasn't here before. So okay, this is working. Cancel dialog, close thing. This time, no exception. Nice and. Yes, I'm going to repeat this very thing here. Yes, I know copy paste is bad, but for now I'm going to do it because it's quicker. Uh, last name, last name, let's say last name. And apart from that, everything should be the same. Except that I have to use these here, otherwise it will not work. So, okay. So now I have my dialog set up. Hopefully, let's have a quick look. Um, considering or assuming that this copy paste just worked fine, uh, next thing I want to do is uh, somehow store this information, and I hope uh, Clips Code Recommenders can help me in learning how to do this. Okay, so my dialog's nice, set up. First name, last name, borders looks good. Cancel this, close this, go back. Um, okay, so this is the create dialog area. I think our dialog creation is done for now. So what else do we have to do? Configure shell. Configure shell. What is configure shell? I just want to have a quick look here. Configures the given shell in preparation for opening this window in it. The default implementation of this framework sets the shell uh, shell's image and gives it a grid layout. Subclasses may extend or re-implement. Interesting. What can I do? What can I do on this kind of shell thing? Can set it a text. Sets the receiver's text, which is the string that the window manager will typically display as the receiver's title. So apparently I can change the the dialog's title, which is nice. I want to have this to creature um, configuration dialog. Or oh, let's call it a wizard. Always sounds nicer. Save. What else can I do on the shell? Set image. I don't want to bother with images. Set size. Set size sounds good. It's, I know it's only 3% in the recommendation. Uh, okay, maybe there's a better way. If, the, if it's only 3%, I'm not going to use it. Um, there was nothing else, so let's see. Okay, pressed. Okay, pressed sounds exactly like the method I was looking for. Uh, in order to process my contents. 
uh, as far as I know, as soon as I close the dialog, it's going to be disposed. So I gonna want to save my contents, which means I want to transform my text fields. Yes, this text field, this very text field, um, to local variables, so that I can uh, local variables to fields, so that I can access them. And then I want to say text first name get text. Thanks. It's already the first position. Um, this actually shows something very interesting about Eclipse Code Recommenders. It doesn't only tell you which methods are important, but it also considers uh, the context you're in. As you might remember, uh, in the beginning when I created the dialog up here, I also only triggered code completion and at the first position showed up the set layout data method, because uh, Eclipse Code Recommenders considered that I'm inside this create dialog area method and that I'm probably more that I'm more likely to configure my text uh, my text input field here than I am to uh, get the text from it whereas in the okay press thing down here uh, it knows that I'm more likely to actually retrieve the test text and it does not even recommend the uh, the set layout data thing at all this is really nice so it helps me a lot and I want to assign this text to a field which is called first name. Text last name, probably going to be the same. Yes, get text, assign, no, not assign to local variable, assign to field last name. Really nice. So now I saved my contents uh, and I'm going to create get a setter. Yes, probably get first name. Okay, I want to access it from the outside, so I'm just going to quickly create getters and setters for this stuff. But the setters are not public. Okay, so oh, nice! It even refactored my assignments here to use the the setters. Um, now I can hopefully access this stuff from the outside after I save the dialog. So let's try this out. Um, I open the dialog, I'm going to turn this back into my uh, my actual type here. As you might remember, I changed this to dialog in order to get the, the uh, recommendations on how to use the dialog instance. But since now I want to access my getters, I need the concrete type again. First name dialog get last name last name and uh, system out print line hey there's recommendations for that last name plus comma first name so just to confirm that this is actually saved and somehow returned I'm going to print it to the console so we should be able to see it down here when I use the dialog and actually now what I want to do is try this out Eclipse application launch it and now there should be the dialog we had before and when I enter data and press the OK button my name should be printed uh, onto the console I'm going to move this a little up here so that we can actually see the console down there and say sample command my first name Sven, my last name is Aman and I'm going to press OK and as you can see down here it just printed my name onto the console so our dialog is working okay this is really nice uh, one thing I just remembered what I wanted to do before is set the size which I didn't do on the configure shell so Let's see what else. I, I, I spotted something that could be interesting. Um, but let's go through the recommendations. So the create buttons for button bar. I don't want to create buttons for button bar for this simple dialog. So I'm going to leave this as is. I won't, don't want to create a button bar. I don't want to add a cancellation handler now. I don't want to overwrite close. But get initial size sounds really interesting. So. I want to actually um, return an initial size here. 
Okay, return initial size. This returns a point. Point, so let's just see. Point is probably a pretty easy data structure. So we have x, let's say it is that is width of 450 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. Hopefully this will be sufficient to um, fit in the, the two lines of content, but we will find that out. And with a little more width, it's, uh, our dialog is able to display um, some longer names. Oh, apparently the height is not sufficient, but the width actually looks good. So I'm going to close this real quick and say, okay, um, height 250, retry. Um, yeah, I have the feeling that UI implementation some, somehow always uh, involves some kind of fiddling around and uh, trying to get these things to work. And now it's a big, now it's too big actually, but at least we see that in general it's working. Is this resizable by the way? No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the, the height again, but in general it's working. And we can continue with some small additional implementation to make this plugin actually display um, the texts or my name, which is the, of course, original intention of this dialog. So let's reduce this again to, let's say, 200. Hopefully that's sufficient. And let's quick, quickly create a second dialog um, that is able... Uh, but I cannot easily create a second dialog. I have to add a handler for the dialog and stuff, and I don't really want to do this in this episode because it involves some more uh, some more details about Eclipse plugin development and not so much about uh, the Eclipse rock and code recommenders, which is my uh, original target for this episode. So I think I'm going to end this here. Yeah, I think the the last two videos showed pretty uh, pretty much about what Eclipse code recommenders can uh, help with recommendations to implement some things I knew hardly nothing about and despite that uh, my my ignorance till now I was able to implement this stuff pretty quickly and as you might have recognized I actually never uh, I never scrolled down in the code completion below the the first the initially shown uh, context entries I only extended the code completion to the right to make it a little broader to have all the additional information displayed without scrolling to the right. Um, but I did, ne I did not ever use a method that was not recommended by Eclipse Code Recommenders and apparently I found everything that was needed to do the implementation I wanted to do. So this is a really nice, nice tool. I encourage you to try it out. Uh, and until then, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the contents, uh, consider to subscribe to my channel at developer or follow me on Twitter. Uh, I post regular updates on the videos I publish. Uh, you might also want to have a look at uh, uh, Let's Develop with Maven and Eclipse or Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life uh, with a TDD development fashion. Um, yeah, if you like it, please drop me a comment, let me know. If you don't like it, also drop me a comment, let me know what you didn't like so I can improve next time. And until then, have a good time. See you around.